but these subs they get the seal of approval from the mouse check game. Mousetrap game was good. We're back with a whole nother video. And I told you, this is uh, Tuesday morning and we're back with another video. I told you we we're going to start doing these daily videos again. Uh, we took a little quick uh, week off, man, but we back on the grind. May 11th, which is tomorrow, man, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Mark that on your calendar. We are going to give away the 212s and the Terra Amp and two 8-inch PRV mids to some lucky winners. Uh, the subs are people that uh, paid for entrance and um, got entries in in order to win that. And the uh, PRV 8s are the ones that commented done on previous videos to get them to uh, get them a chance to win those 8 inch mids, man. So uh, good luck to those who entered. Um, I hope, you know, someone walks away jamming and, you know, lets us uh, keep us informed when you guys put the stuff in there so we can see what you guys got going on. So so we can get the mousetrap gang to be jamming all summer. Don't forget to hit that uh, like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, of course, and drop a comment, man. Let me know what you guys got going on today on Tuesday. Uh, drop some comments. Let me know anything, man. You know, we, we're here as a family, man. Let's conversate. So uh, for today's video, we got something short and sweet. Um, we already put these subs in that white OBS that we did. Uh, and these are actually the giveaway subs, just in case, you know, you're... Um, entered the giveaway and you want a quick review on the subs that you might potentially win um, and so we could actually go ahead and do that today for you guys man. so today we are actually reviewing the uh, sundown audios the e-class subs and I guess these are the entry levels I guess you can call it these are actually the this is just one sub uh, and these are the box for them but these are actually the subs that are for the giveaway uh, brand new, you know, box still right there. Um, I just got to tape it up. I've never been used, nothing. Um, I just wanted to take it out to show you guys. And this sub right here is actually going to be for this box that works in a fiberglass and make it look real pretty behind uh, my boy's uh, lightning. So stay tuned for that video. But, you know, this is a, the 10 inch version of the 12. And I guess these are actually entry level subs. But like I've said in the past, there is not, nothing entry level about these subs at all because these things are pretty beefy they can hold some serious power and these things jam first of all you know they have a nice you know black uh, basket on it it says sundown right here i don't know if you guys can see that it says sundown right there uh same thing with this one the basket it says sundown a little bit more readable because it's a bigger uh, uh basket and you know along the bottom where the magnets at it says sundown right there so if you do a nice box uh, where you can see the magnet side of the box of the subs um, it would look really nice especially if you lit it up in like white or something it look really nice uh, they are dual voice coil subs so that that's a plus in case you're trying to get it to wire down a, a certain way uh, they say they can hold 500 watts but remember we actually put these in that white OBS uh, that we did the box for the 412s and we actually put a 3000 watts on that guy and if you do the math that's 750 watts a piece that it was getting and i still feel like it could have probably took a good little amount more the face of the cone you know it's uh we'll call this uh like a nice hard plastic and it has the rubber around it and then you know it says some down on the the cone itself same thing with this one um although the 12 is a little bit bigger but the 10 actually looks a little bit more intimidating looking because it's so compact and it makes that rubber just look that bigger. And the magnet actually looks way, you know, beefier on the 10 versus the 12. The 12, the magnet is beefy, but man, look at that. That, that 10 is really, you know, it's, it's something else. And so this is the box that it comes in. You know, that's the box for the 10. 
and that's the box for the 12. When I got the sub, I didn't get an owner's manual, but you can just go on the sub down website and actually just look up specs and, you know, see what the power handling and all that stuff can do. If, you know, you have to put specs inside your computer program to design your box, all the specs and everything are on the website at sundown.com or I think it's the down for sound, one of the two. Both of them got them, you know what I'm saying? Now, the tens, I have put them in a sealed truck box and the tens sealed so far, man, they actually do the job. Uh, the tens, what I like about these is I think it's like six inch deep. So actually these can actually fit in single cabs like very good. Um, under the seat box, you can probably get away with doing it. It's going to sound all right, but it's not going to really do the full potential that you really want it to do. Same thing with the 12s. Um, and to be honestly, to be honest, uh, I have a friend, his son actually has two 12s behind a, uh, the seat of a Silverado. Uh, they didn't scoot the seat up or nothing. It's just a, like a really custom box for it and it was ported and honestly I felt that the subs were not doing nothing because I don't think it was in the proper airspace uh, ported box because the ported box that we did for that white uh, OBS it was rather big you know basically almost like two cubes uh, and a quarter per sub versus I think that box probably only had like a cube a piece plus port so it really didn't have that much breathing space for him to really get down so I actually just recommended him to do a whole different sub uh, because of the space because these sundowns they actually need a little bit of space so those things can breathe and you know really you know do what they're really supposed to so the 12s we actually already put them in a bandpass box and we put them in the porter box ourselves and pretty much they perform pretty good on both ends uh, the bandpass box it gave us a nice smooth hard punching base But now when we did the subs and a ported box man It gave us some really hardcore aggressive bass that was like really like whoa because we actually got to hear the sub versus just uh, hearing the uh, The sub come out of just a slot port so with the sub hearing bass from the sub itself and with a port along with it together like you facing at it that's a whole different ball game right there guys like that thing was like ridiculous um, barely any cone noise uh, because sometimes when you build ported boxes and you can see the subs and the port right there you hear like that sub like that cone noise and you know when we did the box for that white OBS with the 412s of the sundowns firing up with the port firing up no cone noise at all guys like that it's just nothing but pure like aggressive bass you know I honestly feel like the owner of that white truck, he doesn't really turn it up to the potential, but we actually got to get on it one time really good. A sealed box, I don't think we've actually put them in an actual sealed box yet, but more than likely soon we probably will because I do have other people wanting to get just single uh, boxes made for them and we'll figure it out. But I pretty much try to stay away from just sealed boxes unless they're just for trucks or something like that um, because you know why why uh, just go the easy route when we can try to figure out uh, to put the sub in there for the right box so you can get the most potential out of it because you never know 112 could out jam having like three tens in a sealed box and if you put that 112 in a good ported box with some good power man that thing will get down and like I said no cone noise whatsoever I don't know you know if sundown uh, designed that took that into consideration but like very 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 if there was corn noise I didn't hear it at all you know I'm not even gonna lie to you the uh, the subs like when it gets to really down to like 30 Hertz and below because that white OBS that we did we actually uh, that box is designed to really play at a high volume on low notes and them low notes man nasty very 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 nasty and like I was just saying I feel that the owner with that white OBS he's actually scared to turn it up um, you know, I would be too, you know, but you know, I'm the type of guy man. We'll get it You know, what I'm saying I ain't scared to blow no subs uh, But you know him on the other hand, you know, I, I you know, that's that's him. You know, everybody Knows what to do with that base knob, you know, I know how to get down with that base knob But anyway, so like that truck right there them low notes are very 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 nasty and that's only 3,000 watts You know, what I'm saying in a ported, you know box um, and that it does justice these subs right here, when we did them in that single cap sealed sealed box, um, man, I did it 
I never even recorded it, but we did it. Uh, it. It got pretty good low notes out of it, you know what I'm saying? Because we built the box. I was able to at least squeeze like 2.5 cubes out of it. And the thing with them single cabs is you need to build a nice tight, airtight um, airspace box so you can really get down with it. But they require a little bit more power. Um, for them to get down low notes it'll get it but they'll never be as low notes as having you know obviously a bigger box with the big port and you know long tuning on it so um it, it still got down it still got down i'm actually right now debating on buying maybe four of these guys because on my trailblazer ss we actually have 412 cvrs in it and i'm actually debating whether to put 412s of these guys in it and really testing the subs out and put in maybe a 4,000 5,000 watts on it but I don't know yet you know but that's what this uh, YouTube channel is intent for you know what I'm saying you know we do the experiments and we do the builds so you guys can already see what's the outcome on it so then maybe if you guys want to give it a shot um, it will you know you, it, it can you know work out for yourself as well so we're actually going to try to buy four. Well, we're going to buy four 12s of these Sundowns, the E12 subs, and we're going to put that 5,000 tear amp on it. Overall design and power handling of the subs, we're going to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You know, I recommend these subs. Buy them, use them, abuse them, do whatever you got to do. But these subs, they get the seal of approval from the mouse check game. And just like I told everybody else, you know, um, for example, when I used to just use JL Audio amps and kicker amps, but after we put that first Terra amp in, that was it, all Terra amps after that. And now after using the Sundown subs, the E-Series uh, Sundown subs is the best way to go uh, when you're going to start, you know, wanting to do a system in your car. You know, I highly recommend these for entry-level subs. Um, if you're trying to do a budget build, these are the best subs. If you're just, you know, hardcore with it and want some serious bass, you know yes upgrade do the essay subs and the other ones i'm not too familiar with the other subs but we're going to slowly make our way uh, messing around with these subs um till we you know master every single one of them and play with everyone every single sub that sundown makes so we can give you guys the best reviews ever that's it for today guys i mean don't forget to hit that subscribe button definitely turn that notification bell on uh hit that like button if you like sundown subs hit that like button if you like this quick review uh, we're not too high tech with all the crazy we're putting the test with. You know, I put the subs in it, we put the power on it, we jammed them. I'm telling you what they do. These subs ain't no joke. They get down and buy them. You know what I'm saying? So I will catch you guys on the next one. Hit that subscribe, drop some comments. Let me know if you're a bass head. And, you know, drop some comments. Let me know what reviews should we do next, man. Um, so, you know, stay tuned uh, for tomorrow's video, May 11th, uh, YouTube Live. We will be doing the, the giveaway raffle on that thing, man. So,